Yo, what's up guys? Today we're back with another drawing video, but today I have a Sharpie unboxing. So as you can see, it's kind of already um, ripped, but let's open it. You can actually find this in Dollar Tree or you can order online. They're very, very cheap. It's really good. Anyways, um, so today I'm going to teach you how to draw a really simple unicorn. It's so realistic and super fun. Let's go. So let's start with the eye. And it's just an eyelash. So what we're going to do is going to curve like this. And then we're going to draw one, two, um... And those are for the eyelashes. We can just kind of make it a little darker and bigger. And now we're going to draw the eye almond shape thing. It's because this in Unicorn, this particular image, it's like um, closing its eyes and then smiling. And now we're going to draw an eyebrow looking thingy. I don't know what it is, but it's not an eyebrow. Now let's draw the um, mouth. So the head will kind of like go like this. And then the mouth smile dimple. And now we're going to finish the rest of the mouth. And we're going to do the nostril. And now we're going to draw the hair. It's just one strap like this. And then we're going to um, come over here at this point and then go curve smooth like this. And then we're going to make this oval and then go all the way back. And then we're going to come to this point here and just kind of connect it over here like this and then we're gonna do the hairline piece and then we're going to do another piece like this and then we go like this and now we're going to finish the bottom of the hair like this and then it curves all the way like this so one big line curve but when you draw this line it'll kind of make much more sense and then here's another curve and let's finish the arrow go back to this piece of hair and then draw the ear so it's like an almond leaf shape and then the inner part of the ear is like this so let's finish this and then add the horn because it kind of looks like a weird um horse shave looking thing so anyways let's um curve like this and then we add another line like this and then we finish it, this hair piece up like this. And then we draw the horn like this. Okay. And then we're going to finish the hair piece off like this. And then we're going to start from here and then kind of do a wavy curvy 
one and then end it like this. And now we're gonna f do another hair piece and it starts like this. Now we're gonna do another hair piece which is a little long. It ends like this. And then we do another curvy hair um, piece like this and then curve all the way back. And then another hair piece. And this might be the last, but it's the biggest. And then curve it off like this. And then here is the um, curve for the hair. Because all colors are here since it's a unicorn. And... Um, in here you can add stars or diamonds, but I'll just add them. And then that's Hydra Unicorn, but now we're going to color. It's going to be a little complicated than compared to the last of the pieces of the hair. Well, let me get the colors. Okay, so these are the colors you're going to need. You're going to need um, um, a pink. Um, you're going to need peach, you need yellow, you need violet, you, and you need nipple. So I'll show you um, how to color step by step. Let's start with the mouth first. You're going to need your peach. Um, you're going to um, draw a line just very light like this. And then you kind of curve it all the way. And then after that you um, then shade it. I don't know if you can see it because in this particular image since it's a peach color, it's not that um, very bright to see. And now we're going to draw... No, I'm sorry, not draw. Now we're going to use the yellow and for some particular um, places, including the hair. Oh, wait, I... I forgot to show you one more curve for the hair, um, like this, because when it's twisting the hair, the yellow part will flow into it like magical. And now, I'm sorry, let's continue with our yellow, and let's draw this line here, I don't know if you can see it, but, um, we're going to, wait, um, yeah, and then after that, we're going to shed this part yellow. Um, and then the horn will be yellow too. 
and this part would be out too. Just make sure it's not outside. And this is yellow too. This is probably like the last um, place of yellow. But this is also another piece of hair for Becca. <sighs> okay, now after that, you're going to need this pink. Okay, so this pink is probably mostly used in places. So you're going to color in this um, strap. You're going to first draw the line like this and then shade it. And then you're going to shade the inside of this part too. And then you're going to shade this part too. And now we're going to go to this piece and then color in this area. <sighs> and then we're going to color in this star. Now we're going to use violet. Um, here is the last piece of hair being colored. Um, lightly shade this, and then we're going to color in here. And then for this, for this part, you might have to color the violet really light um, because it kind of shows the shading. You can kind of darken it up, but mostly keep it light, like as I'm showing in this um, coloring. And the same thing for this one, really light, but also dark, so try to blend those in. And then the dark. And then the normal um, violet would come, so more darker than usual. And then after that, you're going to use peach again because you're cut. And then we're going to color in this part and then this piece of hair. And then we're going to color the diamond on peach too. And 
adults are going to use yellow again for the star. And then you're now going to use blue for the star here. And some shading, but I'm going to use really lightly. I'll show you once I'm doing the shading. So come around here, the eye, really light shadily um, to express the feeling. And then the same thing for this um, eyelash um, underneath, um, really light. And now for the neck, it'll be really light. But in this part, it'll get a little darker in this here and then really light again. Um, so try to blend in for light to darkness in the section of the neck. And then for the forehead, really, really light. After that, kind of put um, the lightness shade here. And now, um, we're going to continue to rest here and then rest here in the mouth. Kind of shading the mouth um, here. And then the mouth will be kind of like this. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Here's how you draw a um, simple and realistic way of your unicorn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please um, like and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos, uh, check out my channel. It's called um, Sushi Fun Vlog. And hey, guess what? Other than drawing videos, I also really like a video, so you better check that out. Anyways, have a most wonderful day. Bye.